So I'm about to show y'all a quick drop set. So a drop set is when you're starting off with a heavier weight and you're gonna go to a failure on that heavier weight and then right when you're done with that heavier weight, you're gonna drop set to a lower weight and burn out. So I typically like to do two to three drop sets. So for example, with this quad machine, the first set, we're gonna start off super light and we're just gonna focus on time under tension reps. So you're gonna come to the top, you're gonna squeeze for five seconds, you're gonna control it down. You're gonna go down, squeeze for five seconds, three, it doesn't have to be five, it can be three to five seconds, you're just gonna get a good squeeze to your quads, roll it down, 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 all the way. You can do that about 15 to 20 times for the first set, and then after that you can work up and you can start doing your heavy set of drop set. So now we're gonna go heavier, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go up, we're gonna squeeze, 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 time under tension reps, right? Burn gets so crazy that you can no longer do these time under tension reps, then at that point you're gonna start doing just like burnout reps. So you're just gonna come here, you're gonna burn out, burn out, burn out, right? You probably had like 10 to 15 your reps, and then you probably did like seven burnout reps. So after, ah, right, you burn, 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 burns. Your minimal rest, you're gonna drop it to a lighter weight. You can move it up one to two notches, you're gonna do the exact same thing. So you're gonna start off with quality, time under tension reps, squeeze, 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 control it down, control it down, control it down, back up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. control it down. And you're gonna do this till failure. When you feel like you absolutely cannot continue to do these good quality reps, that's when you're gonna to get to the point where you're like, okay, no more, I can't hold it, ah, rep it out, rep it out, rep it out, rep it out, come on, ah, fuck, burns, 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 crazy. Drop set again, going down to a lighter weight. Do the exact same thing. You're gonna come here, come to the top, squeeze, 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 squeeze. These are time under tension reps, followed by cheat reps, AKA burnout reps. You can do this with any exercise, right? You can do this with your bicep curls. You can do this with your rows. You can do this with almost any exercise. And this is really how you maximize muscle hypertrophy. You're literally putting so much value into the muscles and you're going into failure to your muscles are just absolutely crying. That lactic acid is fucking up. You don't wanna run from the burn. You wanna chase the burn, all right? So you're gonna drop set like I just did. Ah, shit, my shit's activated, my shit's burning, right? You can do this as a pre-activation exercise. So I like to do, because I have a hard time engaging my quads when I do squats because I'm glute dominant, right? So you have to know if you're glute dominant, if you're quad dominant, and what you want to target. So I like to do these often before my squats and before my lunges because it really helps my quads begin to burn before you start your lunges. So right after this, I'll get into time under tension, Bulgarian squats or front squats. So I'll either come here and I'll do front squats. I'll do the same thing. You come up here, control it, control it, control it, control it. Up, control it, control it. And when you get to the top, you're not relaxing up here. You're keeping constant tension. So you're coming down, control, control, right up, boom, right back down, right? So you're not coming up and relaxing. Keep that muscle under constant tension. Boom, right back down. Right back down, right back down, up, right back down, right back down, right back down, up. But I like to do Bulgarian squ split squats after this. Oops. So as I was saying before I was really interrupted, there's different types of squats, right? So you have a squat, I mean a, a Bulgarian split squat. So you have a, the lunge that is going to target your glutes. So you're going to have a wider base, a wider squat or a wider lunge. And as you come down, you're gonna be putting that weight more into your glute. That's how you target your glutes with the lunge. But if you bring this foot in closer and you bring your weight down into your quad, here, you're gonna hit more of your quad. So we just did a quad activation. So we wanna target our quads with this lunge. So we're gonna bring our weight down into our quad versus having a wide stance here and bringing the weight into our glute. It still hits your quads a little bit, but it's definitely a lot of glute focus versus if you come here and you put all that weight right into your quad. Again, you wanna do time under tension reps starting out. So you wanna control it down, right back up. And when you come up, you're not locking it. Have a slight bend. This is gonna keep constant tension onto the quad. So you're gonna come down, up, down, up, down, up, right? Versus coming down, up, relaxing, down, up, relaxing. You're not keeping constant tension onto the quad, 
All right, so I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense. So that is a, and then you can drop set that, right? So if you start off with like 15 pounds, you can do it with 15 pounds, and then you can drop set down to your body weight and burn out. It's a drop set. Starting out with a weight, and then you're burning out with a lighter weight or body weight. You're starting off with time under tension reps, and then you're finishing out with cheat reps, pulse reps, just to finish out that maximum burn. You can do the same thing with bicep curls. You can do the same thing with bench press. Drop setting is very effective for building muscle, and um, time under tension is most effective for building muscle, putting the max amount of tension into the muscle, and then burning out with the cheat reps. All right, hope this helps.